Good morning and welcome. Today is October 4th. It is the 18th Sunday after Pentecost. I'm the Deaconess intern here. My name is Anna. Uh, Chaplain Walter, who normally leads the service, is not here today. He was called away. Um, but we will be having a prayer service um, instead of our traditional service. So let us begin today with our first hymn, My Hope is Built on Nothing Less. Psalm 118. 
Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. We join together in the prayer of the day. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious God, you gave your son into the hands of sinful men who killed him. Forgive us when we reject your unfailing love and grant us the fullness of your salvation through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading for the day is taken from Isaiah, the fifth chapter. Let me sing for my beloved my love song concerning his vineyard. My beloved had a vineyard on a very fertile hill. He dug it and cleared it of stones and planted it with choice vines. He built a watchtower in the midst of it and hewed out a wine vat in it and he looked for it to yield grapes, but it yielded wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Israel, O men of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I had not done in it? When I looked for it to yield grapes, why did it yield wild grapes? And now I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will remove its hedge and it shall be devoured. I will break down its wall, and it shall be trampled down. I will make it a waste. It shall not be pruned or hoed, or, and byers and thorns shall grow up. I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah are his pleasant planting. And he looked for justice, but behold, bloodshed. For righteousness, for righteousness, but behold, an outcry. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading for the day is taken from Philippians, the third chapter. Though I myself have reason for confidence in the flesh also, if anyone else thinks he has reason for confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection, and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible, I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this, or I am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining for what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our gospel lesson for the day is taken from Matthew, the 21st chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Hear another parable. There was a master of a house who planted a vineyard and put a fence around it and dug a wine press in it and built a tower and leased it to tenants and went into another country. When the season for fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to get his fruit. And the tenants took his servants and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again, he sent other servants more than the first, and they did the same to them. Finally, he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and have his inheritance. And they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. When, therefore, the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, he will put those wretches to a miserable death and let out the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus said to them, Have you never heard in the scriptures, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people producing its fruits. And the one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces. And when it falls on anyone, it will crush him. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they perceived that he was speaking about them. And although they were seeking to arrest him, they feared the crowds because they held him to be a prophet. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Now, hearing the words of our Lord through the scriptures, we confess what we believe in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue with our hymn of the day, The Church is One Foundation, reflecting on Christ being our cornerstone. The church is one foundation, is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation, by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her 
We continue now with the prayers of the church. After each call elect, we will um, do a response, Lord, in your mercy, and hear, your, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Merciful Lord, you have planted us as your own vineyard that we might bear good fruit for your glory. Grant to us grace that we may be faithful and show forth in our lives the good works that glorify you and serve your purpose. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, embolden us by your Spirit that we may give witness to your mighty acts. Bless the missionaries who bring the gospel to people who have not heard and raise up faithful, faithful pastors who will nurture the congregations in their care with your word and sacraments. Give all your people ears willing to hear, minds willing to be instructed, and hearts willing to trust you in all things. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Mighty Lord, give up to the nations both the desire for and the blessings of peace. For the actions of terrorists and those who would oppress with the power of fear. Bless and direct our president, our governor, and all who lead, pass and enforce and judge our laws. Spare us from disease and fear. Deliver the poor from want and help us to provide jobs and worthy employment for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of love, Deliver the sick from their illness. Give relief to the suffering. Help the troubled to know peace of mind and be with the grieving and those in their final days. Guide all healthcare professionals to serve those in need and give patience to those who must bear with their infirmities, disabilities, and infertility. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, our time is in your hands. Look to favor on Martin Kashigan, Ellen Sohn, Melanie Weston, Ellsworth Dietrich, Geraldine Stone, Lois Kong, Gussie Dixon, and Anna Brkovic. As they celebrate their birthdays this week, Grant that they may continue to grow in wisdom and grace. Strengthen their trust in your goodness and bless them with your abiding love all the days of their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, give us a willing spirit that we may serve you with all that we have and all that we are. Help us to be faithful and fruitful in the godly use of your resources and gifts that we may use them in accord with your will and for your glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear us, O Lord, and give answer to the prayers of your people, prayed in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, whom the Father and the Spirit, you are one God and one Lord, forevermore. Amen. And now let us join in the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We continue with our closing hymn, Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from my wounded side which flow be of sin the double cure. Cleanse me from its guilt and power. Not the labor 
The Lord grant us a joy-filled day as we go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.